violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. So guys, I wanted to uh, show you this video because it pretty much sums up the community. It pretty much sums up the mentality um, of the community and how these older, quote unquote, OGs or elders in the black community um, influence these extremely impressionable kids uh and lead them down the wrong path okay so i'm gonna play this video for you guys and then we're gonna look at some of the comments and see how light-hearted these people think this is then i'm gonna give give some points which one i'll give a hundred dollars if y'all go slap that jet over there which Ooh. one Ooh. right Ooh. now Ooh. i'll give y'all boys a hundred dollars y'all go slap that jet right now Ooh. Ooh. huh Ooh. over there so he's saying he'll give one of these young boys a hundred dollars if they go slap another kid and obviously he's using this as a joke whatnot but this is what happens when they send these young boys on hits they say hey i'll give you two hundred dollars if you go shoot this guy look how eager they were to go and slap somebody for a hundred dollars Right over there. Which one? I'll give a hundred dollars if y'all go slap that jet over there. Which one? Right now. I'll give y'all boys a hundred dollars if y'all go slap that jet right now. Huh? Over there. Right over there. So, that's the video. And this goes down all the time. Brothers influencing or other super gremlins influencing younger super gremlins to go do illegal activities. Assault. <laughs> right? When they get older, it's aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. But you see how all the black people in the communities, in the community, in the comments are laughing. Right? All this funny stuff. But when it's that same super gremlin telling these young black men to go and kill somebody, now everybody, oh, we, we sending balloons in the air. Oh, we need to uh, stop the violence and, and send the balloons in the air to make sure the violence don't stop and send good vibes to heaven. I only see one competent person in this comment section. <clears throat> They say, so sad, this isn't funny. I see criminals in the making trying to get easy money no matter who you need to hurt. They're also putting themselves in danger for a quick buck. The rest of the black community in the comment section, laughing. This is why we will never get anywhere. Because the same elders who are supposed to lead us are leading the children to become super gremlins on demon time. So, been stopped. The man accused of attacking a nurse at a Metro bus stop was charged in her killing today as the city pays tribute to her. Sandra Shells was attacked near Union Station. Police say the 70 year old was hit by Carrie Bell before falling to the ground and hitting her head. She died a few days later. Guys, <laughs> what race is Carrie Bell? Put it in the comments section. What race is Carrie Bell? Is, is he a burrito gremlin? Is he a super gremlin? Or is he a glider gremlin? Homeless dude killed this woman, assaulted her, led to her death, and then goes back to his little camp and sleeps it off. And we've seen a whole bunch of super gremlins going crazy in LA. <clears throat> um, the slaying of Brianna Cup. Kupfer, Kupfer, done by a homeless man. Um, whew. These 
homeless transients in LA are getting out of control. And I don't think the city is prepared to do anything about it, to be honest. Michelle's was a longtime nurse at County USC Medical Center. And tonight through Sunday, Metro is offering a tribute in blue lights to honor her and all health care providers. Bell is set to be formally charged February 9th. That's crazy. We don't get a mug shot. I was looking all online. I couldn't find a picture of this super gremlin. But hey, at least this 70 year old nurse got a blue light, right? It's better than balloons, more environmentally eco friendly. Two vigils are scheduled tomorrow for shells. A vigil tonight for 16 year old Tiani Theus, the young girl from South Los Angeles, was found dead Saturday night alongside the 110 freeway. LAPD Chief Michael Moore pleading with the public for answers. So we have a young girl, teenage girl, 16 year old girl, Tiani Theus, black girl, found dead on the side of the 110 freeway. I, I can guarantee damn t you that it was another super gremlin who did this and the crazy thing is she was left on the side of the freeway like she was like roadkill or something like a deer or a possum or armadillo that you drive over or a raccoon it's ridiculous these super gremlins have no decency none at all we know that she lives in South Los Angeles. She has people who loved her, people who cared for her. But we also know that there's those that, that, that took her life. And we're asking the public to step forward. The chief speaking with family and friends at the vigil tonight. Police say Theus was brutally murdered. Her body dropped on the on-ramp of the 110 freeway on Manchester near Figueroa Saturday. Her cousin speaking with me tonight describes Theus as a happy, energetic girl with an infectious smile and bright future. She tells me the family. Wow. Another beautiful young sister another one we did the story on carissa black <clears throat> or carissa bright we did the story on eight-year-old aubrey anthony countless stories man and it, it's not gonna stop I, I i can almost guarantee you that the black community will do nothing about this i see people cutting up on instagram and twitter and all this stuff they're mad right get this they're mad that brianna kupfer or kupfer is getting more airtime more coverage than this young girl and they literally found her body like 16 hours ago Literally, they just found her body 16 hour ago, hours ago. Brianna Kupfer happened two, three days ago. But the reason why Brianna Kupfer is going to get the, the, the notoriety and the shine is be, it's not because she's white. It's because this type of thing is rare in her community. Okay? It's rare in her community. She's a college student, randomly killed by a homeless super gremlin. And right after he killed her, he proceeds to go to the corner store, buys a black and mild, freaks the black and mild, and smokes on a Brianna pack. That's the mentality of these super gremlins. That's what we're dealing with. Same with the guys who did this to Tioni Theus. I guarantee right after I did this or right after they did this, they go smoke some weed, drink some liquor, whatever. So it's not that she's not getting any coverage because she's a black girl and she gets killed. No. It's that this is normal in the black community and we never hear a peep out it. We never fuss about it. We never do a Black Lives Matter march about it. We do vigils. We get some balloons, send good vibes to heaven. 
and we call it a day. Has no idea who would want to hurt her. But then in my mind, for her to be with somebody or let somebody get that close in her space, it was somebody that she felt comfortable with. But this is just me assuming and trying to figure it out. I don't know. Um, of course she felt comfortable with Pookie and Ray Ray. Of course. Because a lot of times these dudes are, you know, the, the what they try and say, oh, we protecting the community. All the gang members say they protecting the community. And the gang started off by trying to protect the community from white people and all this stuff and the KKK. Y'all are full of SHIT. Y'all are full of it. Full of it. These gangs since the beginning of time, especially these super gremlin gangs, have always been about terrorizing the community, have always been about bullying other black people, have always been about asserting your dominance and your toughness and your willingness to kill in your disregard for human life, especially the lives of people who look like you. So, of course, she was comfortable with Pookie and Ray Ray. Right. Because she views them as their, her protector. She views them as, as the super gremlins who going to go hard for her. The dudes that she was probably hanging out with, she probably felt like, like these dudes will do anything for me. Like I, I could set somebody up. If somebody try and mess with me, I could send these dudes at them. So yeah, of course, she's going to let them get close because she feels comfortable around Pookie and Ray Ray. That's something that, that's a sentiment that um, young black girls need to change. And it starts with the mothers. It starts with the female family members. But until, and until then, these super gremlins will, con will continue to be able to get close to your daughters. These super gremlins will continue to get, be able to get close to your mothers. These super gremlins will continue to be able to get close to your grandmothers and your aunties. Because... Everybody is acting like we're supposed to feel comfortable around these super gremlins on demon time. Like we are devastated and heartbroken. I can't wrap my mind around somebody wanting to hurt this child. I can't make it make sense. See ya. It doesn't have to make sense when it comes to the black community. I told you guys, that's why they call it a senseless killing. Because when it comes to super gremlins in the black community... They don't care. They have no remorse. They have no feelings. They have no soul. They have no opportunity for redemption. And they justify all of their actions by saying, it is what it is, or the white man put us in this position. If, if we wouldn't if our ancestors wouldn't have gone through slavery, we wouldn't be in this position. We wouldn't be killing the people that look just like us. Feel so bad for this girl, man. Beautiful young sister. Taken too quick. Man. The community is jacked the hell up. Yes, most recently lived with her father because her mother is re rehabilitating after being injured in a hit and run accident. If you know anything about her death, please contact LAPD. A candlelight vigil tonight for a murdered 16 year old girl. The family of Theas is asking for the public's help in capturing her killer. The girl's body was found on the side of the 110 freeway on January 8th. And I would assume where Leanne Suter is live outside the LAPD 77th division with more on this story, Leanne. Yeah, an emotional plea tonight from the victim's family, desperate to catch her killer. She was just 16 years old. Her family pleading for anyone with any information to come forward. Just take a look. This is a picture of 16-year-old Tioni Theus. As I said, that uh, young girl was found dead along the freeway. Her body discovered. Man, look at look at this girl's smile. So much life. So much life. So much joy, man. This is ridiculous. It's getting to the point. It's so crazy. I do these stories every day. I could do a story on a teenage black girl getting killed every single day.
None of these, none of the black community, like, <laughs> keep that same energy. We didn't have any of this energy for Carissa Bright. We didn't have any of this energy for Aubrey Anthony. We haven't had any of this energy. None, nothing. The black community is silent on these killings, man. So it, it, it annoys me that people, although I do want awareness to be spread about Tioni Theus, it annoys me that people are trying to compare her situation to Brianna Cup or Cooper's situation. It's not the same. Because Brianna Cooper is a rarity in the white community. Tioni Theus is just another day in the black community. Along the southbound 110 on ramp at Manchester, it happened January 8th. Drivers noticing her body around 8 a.m. and calling authorities. Investigators say that she had been murdered. Her body simply dumped along the roadside. The CHP investigating the murder. The LAPD also joining that investigation tonight. Lord have mercy. Man, I feel for this young girl. I feel for this young girl, man. Where the where the hell was her father at? Come on, bro. You had custody. This is on you, big dog. And I'm not saying it's your fault. I don't know what happened. But how how the hell could you allow this to happen, man? Her family again pleading for the public's help. We're talking about a 16-year-old. And we're not talking about an adult. We're talking about a 16-year-old child. Yeah. She was thrown on the side of the freeway like trash, and she's a child. I don't want to be insensitive, but... And? Okay? So what if she's a 16-year-old child? That's the sentiment in the black community. <clears throat> Anybody can get it. Babies. Eight-year-old girls. 15-year-old girls. Seven-year-old girls. 17-year-old girls. It doesn't matter. 70-year-old older women. This is the sentiment. This is, this is what your no snitch rule is upholding the murders of innocent young women this is what your hood politics is upholding ain't nobody finna spin the block for her there's gonna there will be no retaliation for her because the family looks like you know regular upstanding citizens they not gang bangers they're not gangsters they not thuggo and them they're not Pookies and Ray Rays. <clears throat> so there will be no retaliation. There will be no spinning the block. And there will be no talking or any witnesses who are going to come out and tell the true story of what happened. The only way her murder is going to be solved is by extensive police work. That's it. And like I said, this is not my sentiment, me saying, and what if she's a 16 year old? No, this is how the black community thinks. Because you can tell that this is the way the black community thinks, because when you see the murders of these other young people that I've done on my channel, and I've covered extensively on my channel, mum's the word. The only people speaking out are the family. There are no other you know activist black lives matter groups coming into in defense of this and, and if it is an activist it's a local activist who pretty much you know he has pull in the city that he ha that he's in but he don't really have no national light like that and he'll probably get killed trying to save the community that he's been servicing for years and years she meant something to her family. To be left on the side of the street of a roadway, 16 years of age, it's just insanity. 
the evil that's behind that to take a life, a young promising life. The chief as well as Theus's family say they know that there are people out there who know exactly what happened to her and they are pleading with them to come forward. If you have any information, you are urged to call authorities back live. Now here a very emotional uh, service and vigil here for that 16 year old. Again, that family heartfelt plea trying to get any answers they can to her murder. Gang violence and other kind of violence.